you have the rookie standouts as ESPN went around the league with their beat writers. And again, this guy is getting a lot of play. Yeah. Could have been, should have been a seventh round selection. Cowboys took him in the third. Yep. Every team is doing this. They're rookie standouts at camp, mini camp, and it is Nashawn Wright. Mm. Nashawn Wright for the Cowboys. Is Dane Brugler sitting there cowering in fear that he is going to get lit up again by Mickey Spagnola? Well, I mean, I never heard of some of these guys who are doing these. <laughs> These uh, these scouting things. <laughs> what do they know? Can you imagine if, if 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 Mickey had to be a draft analyst? So, and if someone is picked in like the second round that he had a six rounder. Well, I don't care what the fans think. <laughs> How much he'd have to kill them? Right? How would he go about killing them if the Cowboys took him? Well, you know what do you know? What, what were were you? Are, I mean, do, do you know more than the team does? <laughs> are you in that room? Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> I don't think God. you are. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> uh, here's the write-up. Wright was something of a surprise pick in the third round, but his size, 6'4", 183. God, 6'4", 183. String me. Makes him a perfect match for Dan Quinn. Uh, though, through the rookie minicamp and in the organized team activities and mandatory minicamp, he's been around the ball a ton. Multiple interceptions, handful of pass breaks up, breakups. Hasn't always been clean. He's got a long way to go, but they might have hit on a less-than-known pick. This happens. Would not surprise me at all. This happens around the NFL every single year. Guys get picked that you expect nothing from, and they turn into good players. We also screw this up in the media. I'm not insulting the the, the reporters at all because we screw it up as well when we go to training camp. We overhype things from a mini camp or an OTA because it's like the only thing to write about. Yeah. So. Right. You know, like we have nothing to write about football wise for a few weeks. So let's go back and let's talk about a guy who maybe had a tipped interception. I'll never forget the training camp of Xavier Woods. We all look stupid. We're sitting there in Oxnard and Xavier Woods getting an interception basically every single day. And we're like, who needs Earl Thomas? This is the breakout. He's the breakout player at camp. And Xavier Woods never made a play when the actual season was taking place. You get fooled yeah. because of a lack, a starvation of topics, a lack of topics, and because we need to magnify and hype the NFL nonstop. Yeah, the the always around the ball line always gets me because you know, or or, or the amount of interceptions he has. Like like if if the ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage and I and I intercept it, I'm not really that's doing, not a pick. That's not a pick. I'm not really doing anything. Yeah, uh, shouldn't even count against the quarterback. I agree. It should not. If the wide receiver runs the wrong route, I don't believe it should count against the quarterback. Uh, outside of a diving catch by the DB, the quarterback should never be responsible for interception. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, like the around the ball, like what, what does that mean? Just because he's there with the tackles, I mean, or just because he's he's near it? Of course, he's near. He's the DB. They all should be near it.